Hi viewers, today I'll show you how to make lal mas, a deer meat curry from the state of Rajasthan in India. This curry derives its origins from the hunting parties organized by the royal aristocrats of Rajasthan and uses very few ingredients. Here's a quick peek at the ingredients. I'm going to be using 500 grams of boneless deer meat from the haunch of the deer. You can use boned pieces as well for this recipe. You can see that the meat is red in color, alluding to the lal mass. Lal means red in Hindi. You will also need two bay leaves, six green cardamoms, three black cardamoms, seven to eight cloves, nine to ten dried Kashmiri chilies. You can use long dry red chilies as well if you don't have Kashmiri chilies. That will make the dish rather hot. You will also need two red onions chopped finely and four to five cloves of garlic chopped as well. You will also need one and a half teaspoon of cumin seeds and one teaspoon of coriander seeds as shown here. You will also need one cup of plain yogurt. Soak the chilies in water for half an hour. Let's toast the cumin and the coriander seeds. Make sure you roast them gently so that they don't burn. Take them out after a minute or so and then add them to the yogurt. Add one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder to the yogurt as well as salt according to your taste. Mix the spices well with a spoon. That's the spiced yogurt mixture. Let's heat some ghee or clarified butter in a cast iron heavy bottomed pot. Add bay leaves to the melted ghee, cloves, black and green cardamoms. Let them sizzle in the ghee for a bit. Give them a stir. Then add the chopped garlic cloves. Stir them together for a minute. Then add the chopped red onions to the pot. Stir the onions for two to three minutes. Let them become translucent. That's the onion fried. Now add the deer meat pieces to the pot. Stir them around for three to four minutes on high flame. Then add the drained Kashmiri chilies to the pot. Stir the chilies with the meat. Reduce the flame a bit if Things are sticking at the bottom of the pot. Now we are going to add the spiced yogurt mixture to the pot. Fry everything together for several minutes. Till everything blends together nicely. Keep stirring. And scraping off from the bottom and side of the pot. Add 
one and a half cup of goat or lamb stock into the pot I am using homemade stock add a bit of water give it a stir scrape the spices of the bottom of the pot as well as the sides put the lid on and simmer on low flame for at least 45 minutes after 45 minutes take the lid off and check to see if the meat is tender and in this case it is now we are going to make a tarka add some ghee in a pan then add three red Kashmiri chilies to the pan and a few cloves three to four cloves fry them taking care not to burn them then add the tarka into the pot stir it all together it's done now add some freshly chopped coriander to garnish let's plate up this beautiful royal game curry serve this royal venison curry from Rajasthan with bread or naan or tandoori rotis contrary to popular belief lal mas is not supposed to be fiery red in color and extremely hot so much so that your tongue burns off but it is supposed to be flavorful and warming and you can control the heat to your liking the deer meat cooked in this way will melt in your mouth enjoy <laughs>